So real quick here, I'd like to show you something called a square catch. It's a combination of a riptide and an X sketch creating a pattern. Um, you know, much like patterns like how any spins can create a triangular pattern, the X sketch mixed with the, uh, with the riptide can create a different pattern too. And um, uh, again, if you didn't go through my series before, this is an X sketch, right? Sure, a lot of people know how to do the X sketches. You can reverse them against each other. Or what most people don't know is you can keep the X sketch going forever if you roll it on your phones. So you can actually X sketch twice. X sketch, X sketch, roll it out and keep keep it going. Um, and then the rip tides. The rip tides are when you take one hand and you rip it over the back of your other hand like that, and then you grab it. So rip it like that, and then grab it. So. Cool. Okay, it's going to be a mixture between these two. Now you also have, um, I don't know, I kind of sense there's like an anti-spin when you're going against the grain. I'm calling it anti-rip, okay? Basically when you do rip tights, a lot of people just kind of keep their hands still, but you can move it like this. This is going with the spin, right? Because, uh, you know, it's rolling this direction and so is your hand. If you go against the direction, it comes from underneath like this. This is more like an anti-rip, <laughs> or an anti-spin with a riptide, okay? You put them all together and you can create this very simple pattern, which um, I haven't perfected yet, but it looks something like this. There's the first corner, there's the second, there's the third, there's the fourth. And if we can do it, if I can practice it enough, give me about a couple of weeks and I'll have it down, I can actually create some really cool patterns. I'm sure there's more than just a square, but this is just an example. We could try a triangle, <laughs> I don't know. But I think if you really practice it hard enough, you could come up with some really cool um, stops, you know? I don't know. I just thought it was really neat and different. The idea that you're creating a pattern in little pieces, like a jigsaw puzzle, sounds pretty appealing to me, at least right now. Um, last but not least, most people don't really exploit the X-Catch enough. I'll just show you one more here. This is more of a demonstration because it's, it's kind of hard to describe how to do it, but don't forget you can do your X-Catches horizontally as well. Don't just do your X-Catches this way. As you can tell, because you have the limitations, your arms cross. If you do it this way, you can keep it going forever. Because your arms never cross. They cross up and down. And then you can combine them together and create something that I'd like to call a plus catch which is they can come across this way, and they can also come up and down. In the meantime, you can also do your regular X sketches. Now you have a whole different variety of X sketch, you know, moves that you probably would have never even thought about once you add the movements in with it too. It just becomes all that more interesting. I don't know, somehow I'm sure you can do some sort of a wheel type of movement. I haven't worked on it enough yet to figure it out, but there's a lot to be discovered with the X sketch.